Carmelite readings and Happy New Year. I am Karma. This is a Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus reading for January 2020. So before we get started, I pulled two cards from my Wisdom of the Oracle deck just to get an idea of the energy around you and what you guys um, have been going through or will be going through this month. So the two cards that you received were Loyal Heart and Not For You. Let me see if you can see that. There you go. Loyal Heart and Not For You. Okay, so the numbers 35, 8, and 6 may mean something to you. Um, so let me tell you about the energy that I'm getting from these two cards. Okay, um, loyal heart and not for you. I'm really getting the energy here that there's something that you need to let go of or walk away from that isn't helping you. I feel like you've been noticing or feeling or seeing the signs for a while now that this is not good for you. It's not healthy for you, but you're very loyal, right? And although this situation may not be benefiting you anymore, may be causing you to be stressed out, may be causing you strife, you know, whatever it is that it, that it is bringing to you is a negative vibration. Um, or lower frequency, I should say. Um, but you're such a good person. That's what I'm seeing in my mind right now, Leo. It's like you just don't want to walk away because I don't even know if you know the, have the, the answer. I think it's just because you don't want to cause pain to somebody. You don't really want to hurt somebody. You don't want to be in confrontation. But... You know that this isn't for you and you know that this isn't helping you. Um, and spirit wants you to know that when, if you're rejected by somebody or if you get that strong sense that I shouldn't be here or this isn't for me or if you recognize the lower frequencies and vibration in a situation, that is spirit protecting you. Okay, that is the Holy Spirit and God letting you know that we have something so much better, right? We have something so much better for you, Leo. So please, please don't um, get lost in the sense that this situation isn't working out and that there's nothing else for you. Because I'm, I'm feeling that energy as well, like, oh, you know, I, maybe there's nothing else out there for me. But I'm also really just getting the sense that you're a good person. You don't ever want to leave anybody down and out. You don't want to leave things handled in the wrong way in your life. You like to handle things properly and efficiently. Um, but I, for some reason, I'm getting the energy that that's not going to happen in this case for some of you. And that's not on your end. Okay? So just recognize that some people aren't as loyal as that, aren't as caring or compassionate or empathetic or understanding. Okay, because you're about to start something new. That's what I feel. You are about to start something new. All right. Holy Spirit, what messages of enlightenment, inspiration, healing, understanding, growth, and peace do you have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, January 2020? All right, let's see. Overall energy, just like I said, you're moving forward. You have the Eight of Swords in reverse. You're feeling free. This was a situation, Leo, that had you feeling like you were trapped in a cage and that you were never going to find a way out of this, okay? Um, you were really feeling stuck, really feeling lost. You don't anymore, just so you know. <laughs> All right? Mm, you could be dealing with the Capricorn. We have Taurus energy here, Virgo energy. You must be dealing with the Earth sign. All right. I feel 
feel like right now messages between you and this person may have been blocked or somebody may have blocked um, the other person. And there's no emotional connection here, okay? You have the Eight of Wands and um, the Two of Swords in reverse. I have them like this, okay? So just know that not only physically in the 3D are messages blocked, because I'm feeling like the communication is just not happening. Um, there is no emotional communication between the two of you. If you do speak, it's very logical. It's very straight to the point. Um, I also feel like you're just emotionally disconnected from this person, okay? And it, you're just like, no. Reason being, things were not stable. Things were not stable with this person. They were all over the place. You have the two of pentacles. Um, I don't know who it was that was all over the place, but I feel like this person's personality is like wavy. And to me, that's representing like a lot of ups and downs. And you just didn't, you couldn't handle it. It was too much, okay? Um, and so the connection lost that, that passion, that emotional connection was gone. Uh, you have the devil in your past. So again, arguments. There could have been some addiction uh, involved with, with a few people here. Or a few people, I mean some of you watching. Doesn't mean you, but the other person may have had um, an addictive personality. Could have been addicted to alcohol, drugs, you name it. But there was definite um, emotional and mental abuse here. Screaming, arguing, okay, a lot of toxicity in this connection. Some of you could have been married to this person and you guys are getting a divorce or separating. I have the Hierophant in reverse. I feel like there's a need right now to really connect to yourself spiritually. I feel like there's a need right now for you to seek out higher authority um, to help you through this process. Prayer, meditation, because something significant is ending in your life um, and you will be pulling away from this person and going kind of into hermit mode where you're doing a lot of introspect, um, introspective and, and, and just really wondering what do I need to do better in my life? Okay, you have Virgo here as well in the future. So the, the light is shining for you. You're, you're finding the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, here, great. This is what I have to do. So you're putting yourself first, Leo. You know you're a good person. You're walking away from something that you know is not for you. And that's not something to be fearful of, right? So um, let me see here. Let's look at this devil. What was going on with this, this devil energy spirit? Holy Spirit, why is the devil here? What do we got going on? Yeah, it was so stressful. The burden was so heavy. The 10 of wands um, in reverse. Tower moment in reverse. Drama. Huge drama. This wasn't like, great, it's not working, it's over. This was like explosive. Okay? Um, or it could be. Because remember, this is January. So for some of you, maybe it didn't happen yet. But I feel like it did happen. Um, it was too much. I feel like that was the breaking point for you, Leo. You're like, I'm not dealing with this. I don't, you know, I don't want to scream and yell. I don't want to have this type of energy around me. And there was a need to walk away. And I feel that for the first time, you were really able to see how this burden affects you, right? Whereas I feel previously in the past, you were just kind of dealing with it and carrying it around and lugging it around like a ball and chain. And now it's like, no, I'm free. I'm not doing this. I'm so free. I, I, I don't want to deal with this. Let's see what's going on here. Um, your energy is coming through as the three of pentacles in reverse. You're done and over. There could have been some betrayal here. This person could be very deceitful. Um, again, I am feeling like this may have been a marriage for some of you. Okay, and that's or a very strong committed relationship. Okay, and because this is a commitment, three of uh, pentacles, and it's in reverse. So, commitment is over. I no longer have a commitment to you. You treated me like crap. I'm loyal to you. You're not loyal to me. 
it's over okay so holy spirit why is the three of pentacles here for leo yeah i just feel like there's a lot of arguments with this person because you're bringing balance listen sometimes walking away and ending something brings balance to both people's lives if you guys can't see eye to eye and if you are continuously arguing or in a state of low energy low vibration low frequencies with another person and it's a continuous battle for you guys to communicate properly um, or something just feels off to you in order to bring balance sometimes it is not to sit and wait for the other person to reciprocate the same type of good energy that you were putting in. No, sometimes balance is removing your energy because you see that it's not conducive. Neither one of you are getting along. So somebody has to cut it out and walk away. And I feel like that's what you recognize here. You're just like, no, I'm done. Um, and it's for the higher good of both of you, right? So you'll be rewarded for that. Bottom of the deck, three of cups. There could have been another person involved, okay? Um, and you're just like, I'm done. And that's not for all of you, but this other person could even just be gossip. Too many people know the business, so you're unable to handle a situation. You can't have a relationship when other people know everything that's going on. It's, it's a relationship. This isn't a community get-together, right? So... <clears throat> Forgive me, I feel like you are bringing balance to your own life and to your own self, Leo, by walking away. Um, the other person is coming through as the Ten of Swords in reverse. They've been through a really rough time. I feel like this is difficult for them. They felt very betrayed, but they're, they're on the mend. That's why it's in reverse. Holy Spirit, why is the Ten of Swords here? They're on the mend because they're realizing that maybe it is going to be better for them. Maybe it will be better. Maybe, you know, it, it, it will. Oh, yeah. See, they do. Ace of Pentacles. They have hope for their future. Okay. I feel that they recognize it in this ending. It will bring both of you more peace, more. Pro yeah, and they have the three of cups on the bottom, too. So, again, this is something that I feel both of you are recognizing may bring healing to each other. You're realizing that by walking away, you might actually be able to go in the direction you want to go in. Because I, I feel like a lot of you, again, felt like you were trapped, felt like you were caged in. You don't want that energy anymore. So you got to be free. A lion can't be you know, cooped up all day. No, no. Um, again, we have the five of wands here. So you guys are having a hard time talking point blank period. I feel like even if there's physical interaction, it's just constant, you know, disagreements, bickering, can't handle it. The outcome is a three of wands. You're being very patient. You know that you are on the cliff's edge of a new beginning. You know that something big is coming for you. You have now made the move and the decision to walk away. You, you, you were at a fork in the road. What do I do, left or right? And you've chosen your direction. And now that you've chosen it, you're just, you're walking right now. You're in that in-between phase of walking through the hallway or across the bridge to your new beginning. Um, so you're being very patient. I feel like you're, you're, not getting involved in these arguments anymore. I feel that you're really pulling back here. Holy Spirit, why is the Three of Wands the outcome for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, January 2020? Because who has the energy to deal with drama? I know you don't, Leo. Yeah, look at this, the Fool. That's what just fell out was the Fool. You guys are trusting. You have so much trust right now in the process and where you're headed. You know that this is a new journey for you. You know that this is a new beginning for you. I feel like a lot of you are very excited about what's to come, right, Leo? You're very excited because no more of this crap. No more of feeling like you you don't you should never have to fight for a true friend or true love. That's how I feel. They come very naturally and they come very easily. 
Why would you need to be around somebody who is clearly bringing toxicity into your life? Okay. Um, I want to know more about this hermit in the future. Holy Spirit, why is the hermit here? Do we have someone rising in Venus? Seven of Wands. You're standing up for yourself. Sorry, forgive me. Setting your boundaries. Cutting shit off. Excuse my language. You go into hermit mode. You pull away. Hey, I got things to take care of. I'm standing up for what's right. I'm standing up for what I believe in. That's what you're saying, Leo. So you're like, no, I need to go. I need to be on my own. Again, this could have been a marriage for some of you or a very strong, committed relationship, and it's ended. The stability, some of you could be moving or this person um, could be moving out. I feel like for some of you, you may have lived together. That's done and over. You have, you have places to go, Leo, and you have a, a huge horizon in front of you right now. Uh, lots of uh, abundance coming your way. I mean, the three of wands with the fool. Where are you going? Like, this is so exciting, and, and you know that. And I don't think that you have all the answers right now, which is even more beautiful, because you're really putting that faith and that trust in the universe and in God, and you're like, I, I know you have me. I know you're going to take me to where I belong and where I need to go. So long as I make the proper decisions, um, and you know, and I'm healthy, and that it's coming from a place of love. You know that no matter the differences you have with this person, neither one of you deserve to be in a situation where there's constant arguing or no trust or whatever it is. It's healthier for both of you. And kudos to you, Leo, for making that decision to walk away. Okay, thank you so much, Leo. This was your January monthly for 2020, and I will see you guys next week.